my people how are you welcome back to another monday makeup video i'm not sure if this is going to go on on a monday but that's what we're calling them around these parts anyway i am jennifer mata mcmahon and i wanted to do a sort of chit chat get ready with me kind of video where i talk to you about some things and um get ready while i do it you see this? This is my um, rose quartz heart that Michael gave me. I have a new light and that's the whole purpose of <laughs> recording actually was because I have a new light and I wanted to try it out. Um, it's a ring light. And so that is, ooh, that is the coolest setting. That is sort of a normal setting and that is a warm setting. I think the normal setting is going to be the best, right? Not too cool, not too warm, just right, like Goldilocks. Okay. Okay, so. Hello, my people. Welcome back to another Monday makeup video. I'm going to do a chit chat, get ready with me, get you updated on the things that I have been up to and use some new makeup that I bought because it's not my no by year anymore. <clears throat> but, um, right. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have prepped my face already. I have, I washed my face in the shower. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna take off. <laughs> I'm gonna take off stuff because I'm getting a little hot and, um, Put that there and um my hair is still wet i took a shower my hair is still wet um i have it up in a bun or in a hap haphazard kind of bun but i am going to wear my little pen thingies to get my hair sort of out of my way. There was a loose hair that was getting into my eyes like earlier and driving me bananas. Okay, I prepped my face. I've used my toner, trusted toner. Maybe this light is too strong. This is a new light, a new ring light, and I thought it would be awesome, but maybe too much. Um, this is my trusted toner from Burt's Bee. It's a rose water toner. I use it in the mornings after I wash my face. I use this. And then I go in with my SPF slash moisturizer and I use this Paula's Choice Super Light Daily wink, Wrinkle 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 Defense. Um, it has SPF 30 and it has a little bit of a tint so you can actually just use it as a primer, as a base. Um, but as an SPF and moisturizer it works really well. That's how I use it. And I also have a little bit of lip balm on my lips. I love this physician's formula organic wear treatment it's a it's a it's a lip treatment they say but it's i use it as a as a lip balm it's really similar the packaging and everything to the fresh ones that i have as wear but as well but this doesn't have a tint and it's i love it highly recommend it okay so primer i've been using my physicians uh no not, not physicians my hard candy smoothing primer balm it is similar to the elf putty primer and it's also similar to the tatcha primer so if you see me looking down it's because my mirror is right here and I guess I could do it on the screen, the camera screen. Use that as a mirror. I have something here. I'm not sure what this is. Sort of blemish, but it's kind of like a weird blemish. It's not a blemish. Maybe it is a blemish. Okay. I've been loving this primer. It's a little more emollient than the e.l.f. one. I used the e.l.f. one all up. I bought that one and used it all up. And then I bought the Tatcha one to see if I could compare it to the e.l.f. 
And the Tatcha um, is a little more emollient than the e.l.f. And then I heard about this one. And this one is really a dupe for the Tatcha one. Because it's a little more emollient than the e.l.f. one just as the Tatcha one is. So I have the Tatcha one in here. I, I bought the mini one because I couldn't possibly spend that amount of money for the big size. So this is the Tatcha... What is it called? The, the Silk Canvas Primer. And it's really very similar to this um, hard candy one. So that's what I use. Um, let's see. Okay, now that we've been all primed up, I have another blemish here. I need to cover that with concealer. I've been doing, instead of instead of um i always have a little washcloth towel on my lap when i do my makeup just in case i clean my brushes there i clean my hands all things get cleaned okay so what else um oh i was saying i've been doing my instead of doing foundation i've been doing powder foundation. So I do my concealer first. I do powder foundation on top of that um, and call it a day in terms of foundation. Then I do my other, you know, face products on top of that powder foundation. I don't know if I'm liking this. I wonder how this is going to look on the big screen because I feel like the light is really bright. Look at my hands. It looks so, well, pink and then white here um so i don't know we'll see we'll, we'll try this out okay um let's let's not do what i've been typically doing let's let me do um just a regular foundation and i'm going to use the thrive cosmetics um cc cream this one has an spf of 35 as well. I like this one, but it's a little bit too dewy to emollient and I don't like things sticky on my skin, like the feel sticky. But this is one of the new products that I bought not too long ago. And so I wanted to use the newer things that I've um that I've purchased. So the Hard Candy primer is one. The this Thrive Cosmetics CC cream is another one. New ones that I've that I've um, tried, and then um, I'm gonna show you an eyeshadow palette and some lipsticks that I that are new to me. I bought um, the Elf, the new Elf face or complexion palettes those, those mini ones that are similar to the eyeshadow ones but i haven't received them yet because things from elf take two months to get to you i mean if they took that amount of time before i can't even imagine how much time it's going to take this time around with covid and everything um happening right now We'll see. I made an order from ColourPop in March, like the week before everything shut down. And it got here in July. So they did, I mean, to, to their merit, I, they did email me and say, okay, we have this order from you. We don't know when we'll be able to send it out because of all of the restrictions that we have because of COVID. So if you want to cancel it, we, we can just go on. We can just go on and cancel it and give you your money back. But I didn't. I wanted the products. Um, there were some eyeshadows that I wanted to eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to try out, and so I didn't do that. Anyway, I think we are done with the foundation. I put too much on my hand. So this CC cream is really light. So as you can see, it's not covering those blemishes that I have. But it evens out my skin. 
and it's lightweight. The thing I've noticed with it by using it is that at the end of the day, around my nose, is gone. So there's no CC cream to be found anywhere around my nose. And then also, um, but because it's a little bit too emollient, I tend to like overpower powder it and then it starts looking cakey because I just can't stand the stickiness of it. Especially not in the summer where by golly it's hot and humid. The humidity here a couple of days ago was 90%. When I went out to walk Max, I the the knob of the door, the front door, I closed it and I was wet. My hand, the doorknob was wet, my hand was wet, the whole entire door was wet. And it hadn't been raining, it was just the the humidity, the level of humidity. Ridiculous. Okay, I think that is done. I am going to swipe this off before I get it on my clothes. Because that that has happened before. Okay, and I'm going to get concealer. Okay, so my favorite concealers for ages has been this Age Rewind Instant Age Rewind Eraser of Dark Circles from Maybelline. And I wear it in the uh, Brightener shade. I love this. I just bought this not too long ago and look, I, I've already used it up. I have another um, color that is not the brightener, that is like a, um, what do you call it, a, it's light, but it's a, it's a color, it's not necessarily a, the brightening one. And I like to just do this, I'm in a sponge kick. Sometimes I like applying my foundation and my, and my concealers with brushes. And right now I'm really in a sponge kick, so right now it's like everything for the base is done with with a with a sponge. Okay, so that's the concealer. It I love this concealer. It's really lightweight. It covers, it brightens. It doesn't kick up. It's fantastic. And then for blemishes, I use this Neutrogena concealer and it's a, a skin clearing concealer. It's for specifically for blemishes and it has salicylic acid in it. And I use it in the shade light, 10. If I use the medium shade, which I have bought before, I've had to give it away because it's too dark. And then you don't want to, when you're covering things in your face, like blemishes, you don't want them to be either too bright or too dark because they're just going to stand out, right? So, and the, the whole idea is to make them less visible instead of prominent. So, and I just go in and kind of dab a little bit, not too much. I tend to do it too much and tend to wash it all away. But I try to just pat it in. Sort of, you can still see it. It's not the best, um, I don't do the best concealing job because, again, I tend to dab it too much. So maybe if I just go in with it with my finger, that might help. Make it better. Jeez. Okay. I think that's it. By the way, if you hear weird noises, it's Sunday. I'm doing laundry. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, now let's set this. So... So for my setting powder, this is a true love 
of mine. This is tried and true and I really, really love it. It's the next HD finishing powder. It's uh, the banana color. And this is the second one of these that I've had in, in my life. And it's already, you know, it's already going down. I love it. It's, it's really good. It sets without adding too much powder to your eyes so it doesn't look cakey and it brightens because of the banana color of the yellowness in the color it brightens the under eye so I love this powder it's really finely milled it's an oldie but a goodie it's it's really a tried and true one okay so I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about where I am in life. <laughs> I feel like part of me is more of the same. When I, when I think about how we're, we're all doing, I think about the days, it's like Groundhog Day, you know, like the days in and out are the same because we're in our um, home mostly all the time with Max, working from home from my study. The only outings I do is I walk Max in the morning, I walk Max in the afternoon around my neighborhood and Maxie has really, really slowed down. So our walks are really slow, slow, <laughs> slow. And he sometimes can't make up his mind of where he wants to go. So it's, you have to have a lot of patience. <laughs> Um, but so what I'm saying is my, my outings aren't very frequent, very varied. I feel like I do the same thing every time I take him out and because he, that's what he wants to do and, and that's it. So, and we're out sometimes when he wants to go for a long walk, we're out for an hour and that's typically the morning walk. Like for, for example, today we were out for an hour it was a really slow long walk and we were out for an hour um we went the long way but other times it is very short we we get outside he does his business we do you know maybe encounter some dogs that's where he perks up when he sees other dogs he perks up because he wants to launch at them uh, but other than that, he's kind of like, oh, you know, looking out to see if there's anything interesting and typically there's not and that's it. So my, my outings are few and far between. So that those two outings from Maxi for walking him and that's about it. So my days are a lot of working from home, eating from home. Um, I either prep myself something quick or I cook and that lasts me for a few days um, and that's about it I, I don't do much this is I set my my face with this essence all about matte fixing compact powder and this one is I don't know if it has a shade it's just a white one it's it really is white it's not yellow it's not banana it's it's white and I have hip pan as you can see I love it it's really nice for setting it um, lightens a little bit my foundation which I think right now I do not need but sometimes my foundation is a little dark for me and so putting this on top to set it is a really good way to balance that color out. Another thing that I've been using and loving for many years is my butter bronzer and the reason I've been using it right now because I've I've discovered this e.l.f. one that I love and I have it in the color Forever Sunkissed. It's fantastic. I love it. The shade is perfect for me for, for bronzing. Perfect. But this one, I'm almost done with it. So I'm excited to finish it. And um, I typically haven't been contouring. So I go from setting my face to bronzing but if I did contour the one that I'm using is also a tried and true one that I've had for a long time which is this Catrice Prime and Fine it's a duo it has a highlighter and a contouring powder 
and I don't use the highlighter but I love the contour the contour color is really really nice I rarely do that maybe I'll do a little contouring on my nose today since this foundation is so light but I do this I typically do a little bit on my eyelids and I run it down my nose so instead of contouring I do the bronzer color down my nose to give my nose a little color and to sort of define it a little bit love it so much that it's almost gone i don't know that i, I would not repurchase it because as i said i have this elf one which is really good but i want to finish this one I've, the pan is like i'm almost there it's just it's a little push to finish it and i, and I do want to finish it Okay, so let's contour a little bit this nose with the Catrice one. And yeah, so I, I was talking about my days here and I feel like I'm doing the same thing day in, day out because let's contour a little bit here too. Because I'm home a lot. I don't go out. I go out maybe once a week or may or um like this past week for example i went out on saturday yesterday and i did the errand that i needed to do i needed to go to the cleaners and drop off some clothes i needed to go to um to get some gas in my car which now gas lasts over a month <laughs> i don't i don't get i don't fill up my tank every month like i did before um or every other week. What else did I do? I went to I went to the Goodwill to make a donation, and then I went to Walmart and got some ginger ale, um, Coke Zero, and. Sprite diet Sprite because I can't find that at Aldi. I love going to Aldi for food, but I can't find the the good stuff at Aldi for drinking for beverages. I'm gonna use this Elf blush and always rosy. This is another one that I've sort of rediscovered. I've had this for a while. I just have so many blushes that. It, it's, it wasn't until recently that I started using this one, and it's really nice. So, I don't know, there's something so satisfying about blush. Because it's like your face comes alive. And if you go... And the thing is, I could I could be doing this all day, right? <laughs> and then realize that it's too much. Too much blush. But that's where our sponge, trusted sponge, comes in handy. Because I could just do this and quiet the blush a bit. Just a tad, because I, I like loud blush. And with this light, it looks really washed out. Okay. So there we go. Blush has been quiet down a little bit. Let's go back. Um, let's see. Oh, I have so many lipsticks. And I don't know why I'm into lipsticks, because I just wear them around the house because we all know that when we are out and about we have to wear a mask and a mask and lipstick don't jive. So I don't know why, but I've been I've gotten new my ColourPop order that finally came. I've gotten new uh, lip liners and I discovered that this one that is called Oh Snap, I think. Yes, Oh Snap is my lip color. I thought it was too cool tone for me, but 
This lippy pencil is perfect uh, for my lip color. And then this one is really nice. It's a little richer. I like this one too. And it's called Good and Plenty. So these are two new ones. I'll use one of those. But then lip lippies. I got these um, Maybelline ones. I got this L'Oreal one, new. I have uh, this, this one I got some time ago, but it's the quality of it, the bullet uh, bends over and it's not that great. This is a Wet n Wild one. I should be showing you the colors, right? So this is a Wet n Wild one. It's a pinky color. It's nice. The color is beautiful, but the bullet wobbles inside the tube. So that's not good. The L'Oreal one I have in Bright Mocha very nice it's a little bit more like a fall color because it's a little orangey instead of pink and then i have the maybelline ones i have chocolate lust nice it's a nice one not too brown and i have spicy mob which is a really good mobby mobby color you know um what else have I bought new? Let me see in terms of lippies. I thought I had more. Oh, I know. It's um the other ones I have are not bullets. They are um pencils. And they're here. I got this one from ColourPop. It's a um what do they call these? A lip crayon? Is that it? Just a tint? just a tint a lip crayon and I have it in color shaka and it's this sort of light brown it's a twist up and it's this light light brownie nude color um, and then I bought um, let me see what else did I buy? oh I bought these from ColourPop these two are let's see hot shot and playa vista these are oils and i typically have one upstairs and then throughout the day i just apply it they're it's it's like a lip gloss but it's oil so it's thinner than a lip gloss and this one is a lip gloss and it's um the lux color pop lip gloss in the shade tied up this is a really pink a really cute pink like light pink color so I think that's it. Those are the ones. I think that's it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two lippy pencils. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I bought something else. Uh, what else did I buy? Oh, well, in the, in the eyeshadows, which is why I made that purchase to begin with. So I bought um, these three. I bought the Blush Crush one, which looks like this very cute but very um sort of peachy blushy tone i bought them making mauves which is a very mauvey tone one cool tone and then this is why i went in because i wanted to get this one the going coconuts looks like that oops and look how beautiful Beautiful. I like this one. Maybe I'll use this one today. But I got another one. Hold your horses. Okay, and then I got this one. This is a new one. And I got it because it has this green shade. It's the Wild Nothing. And it has this green. Can you see it? Ah, it's it's going to be too washed out, but it's this one right here. It's green. It's called Seashells. And I like it. Um, I liked it because of that color. Because I think everything else I, I might have. But um, it has a lot of these like coral ones. They just came out with a new coral one. But this color right here is very cor coral to me. As is sort of this one. Um, and this one. Which I wouldn't use. The green one is not so much green as it is silver it looks very light in the eyes it has a little hint of green but it's very very light so but i wanted to use that one today because it's the newest one 
My favorite ColourPop palette of all times is this one, is Fame. And well, in the Going Coconuts now, is a, it's a very good second, but look, I love this palette. It has cool tone shadows, which I like. It has some uh, deepness to it here. This one right here, this it's a green one. Um, that it's it's so dark it doesn't really look green but it's it's sort of green um it has purple dark brown i love this one love it but let's do the <laughs> let's do this one i don't think i'm going to use that green because it's really okay so I'm going in with Vagabond, which is this shade right here in the bottom. And I'm going to put that in the crease. I have been watching some videos with new like techniques and um, like eyeshadow techniques. Oh, I forgot to put eyeshadow primer. I always forget to put eyeshadow primer. In any case. I have foundation in my eyelids, so I think, and concealer. So typically, I, I feel like that's as good as it's gonna get, you know, <laughs> in terms of longevity. And they last, they last all day. I would just do that, call it a day, for my makeup at home kind of looks. Work from home, don't really interact with anybody, maybe a neighbor that passes by, maybe the mailman that comes by, or a delivery person from like FedEx or UPS. That's it. That's the, the, the bulk of my interaction, my human interaction in person. Because then online, of course, I have hundreds of emails to get back to. I have meetings online via Zoom or WebEx or Google Hangouts or Google, what is it? Google Chats? Google Talk. We'll talk. I think that's what it is. Um, those several a day, but okay. So this one, this one's interesting because the lightest shade. Can you see it, or is it too bright? The lightest shade right there is. Um, oh, you know what we can do. We can make this. What are we thinking? Better. I think better. Okay. So the lightest shade, this one right here, which I use to highlight my brow bone, has sparkles in it. has like little bits of glitter in it. And that I don't particularly love, but if I'm using this palette and want to use this palette only, then that's the only color that I can use to highlight my brow bones because the rest are too dark for that. And so it has glitter, <laughs> which I don't particularly love, but if you diffuse it like this a little bit, then you see the whiteness of the shadow, but you can avoid somewhat the glitter. I would have rather that shade be matte, but I doubt that they made this palette with me in mind. Had they made this palette with me in mind, they wouldn't have put these two orangey colors in it, which I'm not going to use. Okay, so let's see. What are we going to do for... We have to deepen the edges, the outer edges, and then put something on 
the lid. We're gonna see if we can put some sparkly something on the lid. So I used this one in the crease and I think I'm gonna use either this one or this one to darken the outer edge. Let's go for the dark one. I rarely go for the for the super dark one, but let's do that. Let's deepen that outer V with that dark color. Okay. So another thing that I've been doing is I, I'm a multitasker. You know that, right? You know that about me, right? Um, my aura type is a manifesting generator. So that means that I do many things at the same time. And I typically, um, you know, my mind is going, even though my body is not necessarily going 10,000 miles an hour, my, my mind is. And I get ideas to do things and I want to do them now, and which is problematic when you want to finish things because then you're, you're in the midst of something and then you get an idea and you just drift. That's kind of me. But um, because I'm a, I'm a multitasker and I can multitask, I will be listening to something while doing something else. So I could be uh, prepping a class, not recording it, but just prepping it, and be listening to a YouTube video or to a podcast or to a book, that I, an audiobook that I'm listening to, which I've been going through them like crazy. There we go. I think we're good there. And um, there was a, a podcast that I was listening to today where the tarot lady was interviewing um, Mary Greer, who is the you know OG girl of tarot. And I've been into tarot a lot again this summer. Also, angel cards and oracle decks, and I've been just into all this. It stemmed from my interest in, um, I've always been interested in tarot, but it stemmed from, it, it sparked the rekindling of my tarot uh, studies. <laughs> sparked from me going into crystals and energy work and Reiki and tarot and magic and all of these things that I'm now, that I'm, I was gonna say that I'm now interested in, but no, I've been interested in this all my life. It, it ebbs and flows because sometimes I have too much work and I just don't have a lot of free time to get into that. But in the summer, I typically have a little more time, and um, so that's that's what I did this summer. I really got into um, all of those wonderful things, and um, I was listening to this podcast of the Tarot Lady and Mary Greer, and they were talking about the years. Um, the cards for the years and I've also discovered this lady from Colombia and um, I follow her through Instagram and, and she does these live classes during the week and um, I'm gonna go with this one this one is called East Line no Coastline so I'm gonna go with Coastline um, so she this Colombian lady does ooh, Ooh, bingo. This is really light. I don't think I had used this one before. I played with this last week when it came, but oh goodness gracious. It's really light. Okay. Mm Fuse it a little bit. And um, this lady from Colombia is, is talking about, she talks about many things as well. She's kind of like me, like interested in all things that have to do with um, this like spiritualist realm. And um, she, her main thing is. Uh, 
neurolinguistic programming or in Spanish it's programación neurolinguística, PNL, PNL I think in English it's um, NPL, neuro, no NLP, neurolinguistic programming. Um, and so she's she's she trains people in that. She's been trained and she trains people in that. And um, but she also does numerology. And she does regressions and she does you know gastro bands, um, like virtual gastro bands, which is one thing that I want. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm on a wait list because this lady is now getting to be very famous and it's hard to contact her. So I'm going to do that dark again and see if I can put that over a little bit. This very white or light color that I now have on my lids. And so Mary Greer and Teresa Reed were talking about the number, the cards for the year and I was listening to that this morning as I walked Maxi, because that's what I do when I walk Max. I'll, I'll listen to things, podcasts or or the book. I'm reading. I'm listening to Sapiens. Have you read that book? Oh my gosh. It makes us look like savages, and not because of things that we did when we were savages, but things that we do today. So, um, yeah, I'm slowly getting through that book. Um, she, she talks about numerology like the, like the Colombian lady, Mary Greer does, and they were looking at the card of the year and the card of the year this year is number four that related to tarot, it's the emperor, and next year is number five, which related to tarot is the, um, the, the priest, the hierophant in tarot and, um, it was, I don't know, they were kind of like speculating of what was to come. And it has to do, the Hierophant has to do with religion and, and you know, a higher order um, religious figures that are leaders in, in religion. But it also has to do with higher education. And I thought, oh, you know, like what, what does that mean? Do we... Are we expecting changes in higher education? Are we expecting education to be a leader and be at the you know forefront of some of the changes next year? Or are we going to continue with all this political nonsense? I really don't know how we fell into this having politicians be the ones that decide how society works because politicians are not in my opinion the best trained people to decide how society is going to work we need educators we need philosophers we need sociologists to, to inform us so that we can then create laws that are going to be best suited for everyone. But here go politicians and create laws to what is better suited for them and the parties that they represent. And at the end of the day, it's all very much driven by money and power. And who has it and who's left out. And I don't understand how we as a society came to give so much power to people, to, to, to politicians, where the powers should be to the elders, the wise people, the philosophers, the, the educators, the sociologists, I don't know if the psychologists, but maybe. Um, and have those people that are informed in how society works, the historians would be great to hear from them because, you know, the history repeats itself. So, and we seem to be 
doing the same, making the same mistakes over and over. Okay, there it is. What do you think? I think it looks better with not such a bright light, but it is what it is. So, let's see, let's do my eyeliner in my waterline, which I always do. I'm going to curl my lashes, put some mascara, do my brows, and I will be back. What's the rambling about? Oh, yeah, the society and then how we gave so much power to politicians. Well, but they were talking, Teresa Reed and... and um, Mary Greer were talking about, you know, the year and what was coming next year in 2021 and all this. And I just thought, you know, maybe could the change be that we're finally going to listen to education or focus on education and making education great, you know, and putting money into it, investing in it and making it great. I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. I really don't need, I have very bushy brows as you can tell. I, there's nothing in my brows right now um, that need a waxing because these hairs right here are out of control. But you know, I haven't, I haven't figured out if there is an eyebrow waxing place that is working and that I could go to and that with a mask they could do something for me. Although, I don't, I don't know that I would want to be wearing a mask because they can't see my full face and then how do, how do you, like that, fix the eyebrows? I don't know. So anyway, I just put this in to like fill in areas that are a little bit sparse and there is very little hair. But as I said, it's just a tat, a touch, because I am a hairy person. At least when eyebrows are concerned. My rest of my body isn't that hairy, but my eyebrows are bushy. Okay, and I've been using, the, oh, this is another new thing that I got. This is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I had never used a primer an eyelash primer before I get no maybe I did back in the day I'm talking about five years ago or more um I think I bought an elf eyelash primer and used it but I didn't see it do much of anything Ooh. and this one does seem to do Ooh. you see that it does so much that it falls onto my face, but you can fix that. And I just put it on just a little bit, not too much. And um, let it sit there for a little bit. What if we had white lashes, right? There we go. This pencil is the bomb diggity. It's from e.l.f. It's a mistake corrector pencil and it's the best thing ever i've had many of those and have recommended it to everyone okay there we go and then i'm going to use my trusted and true it cosmetic superhero mascara on top of that essence primer lash primer this is not i this is not the new mascara that I purchased. I have the, I have this one that I bought. It's a tubing mascara from Thrives Cosmetics. The tube is really hefty and nice. Um, it's a good mascara. It does curl my lashes up, but it's hard to take off. You have to take it off with um, warm water and kind of press your lashes so the tubing mascara will come off and I feel like my IT Cosmetics does the same thing in terms of curling and uplifting and it's easier to take off so I don't think anything has beat this mascara yet for me 
the Monsieur Monsieur Big from L Lancome. Is it Lancome? Yeah, I think it's Lancome. That one's good too. With the high end ones. I like the better than sex. I heard someone a few days ago say that the better than sex didn't work for her um, because it was flaky. I like that one and I like the the uh, prince princess what's it called the one from from L'Oreal that is a uh, sort of like a dupe for the I don't have it right now I'm not using it but they both have those the pink tube so the L'Oreal one is very much a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex one. I like both of those. Those work really well. And I also like my Essence Lash Princess one. Love this one. That's it. Let's see. I'm going to use the Libby Pencil, the Oh Snap one. That is, yeah, used it. That um, is like my lip color. And I do it all over. Wear it like lipstick. I line them and I don't overdraw them because my lips are big to begin with, so especially my lower lip. Do not need over drying. There we go, and I am going to, I think I'm going to use this brown one, use this brown one, it's very light. So my lips are all color pop. There you go. Take these things off. I don't like it when people put these on and then don't take them off leave them like they're a decoration they're so not a decoration anyway that's it i'm done i'm done i would put some what do you call this setting spray on but mm, i don't want more stickiness on my face i like it what do you think like it i like it okay doke well i blabbered I told you about nothing and I showed you the new things that I've been loving lately from ColourPop and mainly from ColourPop all these the eyeshadows that I showed you and all the lippies and except for these lippies that are not from ColourPop but everything else is from ColourPop I've been loving it so I hope you liked it. I would just, I wanted to mainly try out my new lights and see if, how that worked. So hopefully this will be good enough to post and I will see you again soon.